to belch in my face and then breathe it into my face <sighs> no man what's popping you guys <laughs> what's popping guys in today's episode we're going to be doing a q and a get to know me so i would have taken the liberty of asking what do you guys want to find out about me i know there are persons that know me on here that know me like all my life shout out to my parents and my siblings <laughs> and um there are persons that have not a clue about me right so as i said i took the liberty of going to all my social media platforms whatsapp instagram my youtube community tab as well i said instagram already yeah to ask what do you guys want to know about me and i took down all the questions and i put it together in this cute little gift bag isn't it cute and i'm we're gonna like lucky dip this thing okay first and foremost my name is verlene charles my middle name is Yelena. I also have another middle name. Nobody wanted to find out that, so I'm not even going to say it. Okay, I'm kidding. Um, my name is Verlin Yelena Clevia Charles, and um, a lot of people would have known me by Verlin. A lot of people with regards to music and makeup know me as Yelena. I kind of prefer Yelena, but whichever is fine, I'm going to answer either way right my birthday is january 23rd for those that are into horoscopes and stuff that would make me aquarius or something like that what else about me i'm really short i'm like five feet i'm trying to give you guys the basics right so i'm like five feet tall yeah <laughs> let's get into this Okay, I done. Oh my God! On what would the first one look to be? If you could exchange bodies, who would it be with? Well, I don't know. Can I take a rain check? To be honest, I think I'd want to exchange bodies. If I were to exchange a body, it would be with the opposite sex. You know, I'd want to be a man, a good-looking man, though. To see, I guess, how it what what is it that they experience or what is it that they think um <laughs> um because a man is not a woman and i would like to know what is these male privileges or non-male privileges or just thinking like a man functioning like a man how is that yeah, I probably sucked at this question. I am so sorry. All right, hopefully this is a better one. Who are some of the most influential people in your life or who inspires you the most? It doesn't have to be someone you know, but it actually is someone I know. I definitely believe that I am inspired by both my parents. Like, yo, my mother's strength is different dog. And I know just recently it would have been Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, mommy! And to my sisters, you know, happy Mother's Day. Like the amount of things that she would have went through with us growing up. And because my dad, he worked abroad. So he was always out of the country. So he wasn't around. And like most of the hardest things that happened to us as a family occurred when my dad was not around and my mom had to deal with that on her own yes she has a husband and but he's not there he's physically not there and all she would have had were his encouragement or his voice over the phone you know whenever it is he can make a phone call and and at the end of the day my mom still had to you know do what she had to do and try to keep it pushing try to keep us functioning try to keep us healthy to be honest as much as i grew up in a nuclear family my mother was still kind of like a single parent in the physical sense because my father was working abroad so listen to me and it was five children they i have four other siblings i'm not an only child if you ever thought that <laughs> no girl i am the second and she has been through it if i could have at least just 
a dash of her strength then i know i'm set for life honest honest to god she's really influential to me in that regard and just her um her spirituality you know she's very steadfast that kind of thing my dad as well he did his diploma in bible school many years ago long before i could even born and it was just his diploma and you know this guy like 49 years of age 48 years of age went back to school went back to bible school to complete his degree and i hadn't completed mine yet and you know that really showed me persistence and it truly encouraged me that yo i need to complete what it is i'm doing i need to finish this i can do it if my father can come back after all these years years later and complete and get his bachelor's in theology then yo we could do anything so yeah shout out to my parents are you always busy hell yeah <laughs> I feel like I'm always busy. Sometimes I would be doing nothing and I'm still busy doing nothing, you know? And I'm really trying to learn how to exercise proper time management so that I can maximize more time in my day to rest, to re-energize, you know? Like I'm doing YouTube. Sometimes when I get a call to work on contract at my temporary job, I should say, um there's that um i'm active in church um what else i do i'm i'm now a part of a music program music tt that is affiliated with the government so i have workshops to do i have online classes to do with that i just completed my degree and you know i'm trying to work on my music and i'm doing makeup and then i have clients and I do a lot I'm always busy end of story next one do you have siblings yes I would have told you guys earlier that I do have siblings I am one of five um, I have an older sister and then there's me and then I have two other sisters after me and then last but not least it's my brother in some ways I still feel like the eldest even though I am second because I don't know because I feel like I've had a lot of responsibility as an eldest child and not really as a second child and I think that is too because I am not my mother's first child I'm my father's first child I am treated like the eldest and I am not in a sense the eldest yet I am in a sense the eldest listen I have four siblings okay what do you use to edit your youtube videos i remember getting this question on instagram actually they asked what app do you use to edit your youtube videos and i use adobe premiere pro i don't use a phone app i use a program but in short i must mention is a really good app to use when editing there's also power director but i believe once you pay for it you don't have to get that power director watermark coming up on your screen because that is annoying moving on how did you get so good at makeup well child i have a secret for you practice 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 trust and believe what was the last book you read the last book i read was a book from td jakes now i remember i would have gotten this question so i made sure to put the book here because i especially wanted to talk about it right it's called let it go forgive so you can be forgiven right now i um the reason why i purchased it actually i went to the bookstore and i was like you know what i want to get a, a really nice self-help books i was looking at books and then i saw this td jakes one and i was like you know what maybe this can help me on earth if there have been any um unforgiveness in my life i want to be the best version of myself and so i was like you know what as much as i think i might forgive someone maybe i have not and that is the reason why i purchased the book and i must say listen to me hands down this book was amazing td jakes is amazing as some of you all may know and 
you know the examples he would have used wasn't too complicated the things he said so i was truly able to relate understand and it helped me to even think up situations and circumstances from since way back when and you know really do some serious introspection with myself on if it is i would have forgiven a person based on a particular situation or circumstance or whatever would have occurred in my life or based on hurts and you know it truly it's inspiring it's amazing and i can't wait to read it again i bought it in rik and the bill is still there <laughs> it i paid 125.50 for it what brand of skincare products do you gravitate towards for your daily routine what i purchased down here is biori the international go-to that i reach for is ole henriksen now biore has um the blue agave that i would have showed you guys in my pennywise haul um i love that one there's also a charcoal from them there's also a baking soda that is what i would tend to reach for when i purchase skincare products in pennywise however ole henriksen they have a really good line as well where they would have like the serum moisturizers eye cream and stuff that i would reach for internationally and i think it does an amazing job next one tomboy or girly girl can i say that i'm a little bit of both listen to me you all always see me on here with a t-shirt it's comfortable ja i mean i just want to look pretty and then others be like it's so hot i can't take it but to be honest growing up i was more on the tomboy side i did not like makeup i did not like girly things i hated when my godparents and my father used to purchase pink stuff for me yeah i was not the girly girl type um i really i really really wasn't and i think it's over time and i guess maybe you know some influences and then i started getting into makeup slowly slowly it started happening i'm a bit of both because to be honest if you give me a chance i will definitely want to dress like a full-on tomboy and then there are moments where i just want to look cute cats or dog pick a side <laughs> i prefer dogs and i think that's because i grew up with dogs i've had dogs all my life our first pet was a doberman his name was dread because i mean he was a little low-key dread and i did free him eh? but um dread was a really really nice dog he was an amazing doberman do you want kids if so how many yes i do want children i would like to have three preferably two of my own and i would like to adopt a child in the future i really hope that's possible for me and i really hope i can you know finance them because children are expensive okay next favorite pastime to be honest hmm if you had asked me maybe five years ago or so what my favorite pastime was it would be to read reading a really good book now i think in my free time what i do i tend to either look at youtube videos to see what's popular or just to try to learn look at how the youtubers do their thing um, observe just how they do their videos to see how much i can learn i'm trying to see what's popping and i'm trying to see what keeps you guys interested and engaged and how i can be better at this sometimes when i feel like you know i don't really want to do much thinking i would netflix if not i would spend time with my family try to give them some of my time because i feel like sometimes i'm so busy i don't really share my time with my loved ones as i should so i try to do that as well what would you do as a career if you couldn't sing or weren't into makeup what's your other dream job well i just completed my degree in mass communication that is something that i've grown passionate about i love the idea of you know building an image creating an image for a company developing relationships with stakeholders employees and blah 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 blah. i feel like in some ways i really try to do that or encourage that with my um with my church and um i really like that i would definitely want to work for a top company 
as a communications officer because I know that's where I'll need to start and then you know eventually work my way up it worked out pretty amazing for me um, pursuing my degree I was able to learn how to be better on social media with regards to anything media related so with that I'm able to produce these things for you guys hello so you know it still worked out like while pursuing something that I'm passionate about it was able to help me achieve the knowledge to pursue other things that I'm passionate about look at that home or out I'd like to think I'm an out girl um, but sometimes to be honest I'll be like I just want to stay home I don't want to do nothing sometimes I would get invited to hang out and then I'll be like yeah and to be honest at first I'd be like yeah you know I really need this I think I want to go I'm excited and then when it comes it's like I don't want to go <laughs> I can be both but right now since we're like trapped inside I, I want to be out I want to go out I want to do things there are things that I did not do and I intend on doing it hopefully what is your all-time favorite movie hmm home alone <laughs> i just decided to think of something that i've seen a million times it would be home alone there's several movies from um julia roberts that i really love um notting hill runaway bride erin brockovich love it i don't think i have an all-time favorite movie i think it depends on the genre you all need to be specific if you really want to know all-time favorite movie then hit me on genre and i'm gonna hit you a movie because i'm a girl i would watch comedy i'd watch horror i'd watch thriller i'd watch drama i'd watch a documentary when the only fans coming out <laughs> when the only fans coming out um never has having a youtube channel affected your life it has put me on a larger platform to communicate to a lot of other people who can be anywhere in the world besides instagram and facebook oh my gosh i completely forgot to mention youtube channel truly has affected me in the sense that when i produce content you know sometimes i there were a couple of persons one or two persons would have reached out to me and they were like oh my god you know i really like your content it's so good and it's it's so uplifting or oh, i really enjoy watching your channel i really dig your mood your vibe your energy etc etc and that truly made me feel good and i think that is what has affected me with regards to having a youtube channel that makes me feel inspired and truly encouraged to you know keep on filming <laughs> how much youtube paying you you really want to know <laughs> youtube is not paying me i mean i'm trying to get there but i'm not there what sparked your curiosity with makeup um so I never really had brows, right? <laughs> I barely had brows. And I remember I was at this camp and the girls were like, you know, why don't you um, shave your brows or whatever? And I was like, shave? I barely even have to shave, you know? Or why don't you fill it in? You know, someone had suggested filling it in. And I was like, hmm, I don't think my dad will agree with that, you know? but eventually i started doing that i started filling my brows plus my best friend used to do that a lot too so you know she rub off a little bit slight <laughs> and i started doing that and sometimes she used to be like oh my gosh you do your brows so well lies <laughs> but then you know everybody thought you know it was looking good i mean even i thought I was like, oh, good dog. And then I decided, you know what? I should probably do the proper thing. Let me try to see how best I can get better with doing my brows. And then eventually I started dabbling in a little bit of eyeshadow. It was usually earth tones, eh? I might, might probably include some pictures. And then, you know, I was like, I should probably try to do this all better. I just do it anyhow it probably doesn't really look all that good even though people tell me otherwise and I just started working on it and perfecting it and here we are 
But other than that, I had never liked makeup. I too, like you, thought I would have poked out my eyes if I lined my eye. I too thought I would have gouged out my eyeball putting on mascara. So you know, you are not the only one. I've been there. I know it, sis. I understand. Okay, was there. I came out from the miry clay of hating makeup, but now I'm here to say, I went. I went. Any makeup goals you want to accomplish? Yes. Um, I definitely. Well, I was. I've recently become an ambassador for a local brand called Tobago Cosmetics. See my description to get my code when you order, guys. Check in at the resort. See what you want. Shop at the front desk as well as your souvenir shop and order up, babes. Chill by the poolside. Have a drink. Do your thing. You know, I went off on a tangent. They know it. Um, one of my goals is to definitely become one for an international brand. Hopefully. I mean, I don't really like to say hopefully, you know. I'm aiming for by the end of the year. <laughs> Fingers crossed about that. I would also like to be paid by YouTube. That is a goal of mine. And I would like to have a really large Caribbean market where YouTube is concerned. Because y'all's my people's first. Y'all's my family's first, you know? Favorite restaurant to dine? My favorite restaurant is where I went for my birthday. If you guys saw my birthday vlog, I'ma put it up here. Um, my favorite restaurant is Buzu. I love that Italian restaurant. The food is amazing. The ambience is amazing. The service is amazing. If the borders were to open tomorrow, what is your destination? This is provided that the situation is not really the situation, right? Because, I mean, who would want to go anyway and open the borders and things bad? Okay, so in an ideal situation, I really want to go get that resort type vibe. I feel I would probably want to go to Mexico. In an ideal situation where I have Mexico money and there isn't this situation that we are currently all facing. What's your favorite food? I don't know if I can say what it is I want to say, but I'm still going to say what it is I want to say because I want to say it. Um, my favorite food would be Sunday lunch. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all might be like, but that is not a food though. It is a food for me. Pie, kalaloo, baked chicken, mashed potato, lasagna, everything Sunday food, Sunday lunch related. That is my favorite food. I love Sunday lunch. Hands down. Story of the last time you cried. Well, I was already feeling kind of down. I was feeling a bit depressed. And I was in the kitchen and I was washing up some ways. And I was already feeling like crap. And there was this one hen. And she had one chick right one chick you know they follow their mom around <laughs> right true apparently there was a chicken hawk not too far because the chicken hawk like swooped down and took the chick right outside my kitchen window right before my eyes and i was done already feeling really crappy i was done already feeling depressed i was feeling overwhelmed and all of that and that just I don't know it was probably like my tipping point and I just started crying because I was like you know like why does the world have to be this way why are things so unfair blah 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 yada yada I was really really upset like and I think it's probably because of how I was feeling prior to that it just set me off you know thinking about it thinking it's over i was like you know the the bird is just trying to survive or even self-feed their young one and they're just doing what they have been built to do they were born to do you know 
because i was thinking too you know this hen is probably so upset she lost her only child i mean yes i know they lay all the time and they can set all the time but she only had one you know i really started wondering like how the hen was feeling because she tried chasing that hawk I started thinking how the hawk is probably feeling how the hen is probably feeling but before that i was like full on crying and it really made me sad your family is so talented where does it come from like even i think a lot of people ask that question like they ask us that question all the time because my mother cannot sing my dad cannot sing they're probably gonna watch this video on course i'm sorry but we can sing but i also have relatives on my mom's side as well as my dad's side that sings right my dad was kind of sort of into artistry like he said he used to draw and stuff my brother's really amazing with artistry um my sisters and my brother can draw really well excellent my last sister she did fashion school my second sister she is doing um graphics and my brother he could just draw anything he can draw anybody you know and i can draw on a face do ask me to draw in a book do ask me to draw on a wall ask me to draw on a face i can i can do that and outside of that i don't know we're just sort of creative in that regard it's pretty cool morning or night i think i'm definitely not a morning person unless i have to wake up to go and get breakfast and i'm not talking about doubles breakfast i'm talking about art cafe dosi desserts nekosas and wherever other places like that if i'm going to that i'm gonna be a morning person other than that i'm not a morning person favorite hairstyle this right now because it's very easy to do <laughs> been really feeling the half up half down i think that's super cute i would have done that in my new year's eve look and i've done it with my half a wig <laughs> yeah how do you manage singing and being part of music tt while doing makeup listen i don't even know how i manage i just try to do everything one day at a time and then outside of that like music tt they have a schedule for us so like my social media facilitator he would be like okay well we have to do this in two weeks let me know which day is available for you and we can schedule a date and time and i know okay well i have this i add it to my calendar so it's set and then i know okay youtube uploads are every tuesday or at least i try to make it every tuesday and then try to make sure i film in advance to be able to edit to have it ready for you all on tuesday and then in between that um i'm probably trying to do other looks and then maximize on those looks by sometimes trying to record a little video singing or something your watch is pretty where well, you got it um this was a gift i received this for my birthday it's the samsung smartwatch i think is what they call it i love it so much too thank you I really really love my watch I love it I love it five things about yourself that we don't know about you oh my gosh um I can tell you one off the top of my head I I can write with both hands yes I'm ambidextrous two I think I'm a bit of an ambivert maybe more so on the introvert side I mean, contrary to popular belief, I feel um, there are times where I do get shy a lot and I try to mask it so people doesn't know and I definitely feel like I need to pull away to regenerate, re-energize, refuel myself. Sometimes I, I have to prepare myself mentally. Okay, I'm going out and I'm going to see people and I can't not want to talk to people if I'm going in a place where I'm going to see people, you know? I didn't always like makeup yeah 
I would have told you guys that earlier, but that's something that you guys didn't know about me. I didn't grow up liking makeup. The first time I put on, I took my mother's lipstick. It was red and I tried it on and I thought I looked like a whole clung. And I was like, hell no, this ain't for me at all. And from there and then, I had made the decision, I'm never going to wear makeup. I totally forgot to include that. And that's how I was never really into it, you know. The most I would wear is lip balm or lip gloss. Lip balm because my lips get chapped. So to avoid that, yeah. Fourth one is I can roll my belly. I ain't know if I can show you that now. Nah. For sure. And a fifth thing that y'all don't know about me is that I was pursuing electrical engineering before I switched to communication. Yeah, I was a whole Triple E T student learning how to solder iron and thing. I could only change our bulb now though. Have you ever been bullied for wearing too much makeup? No, I've never been bullied or even if I have, I can't recall. I know sometimes, since this whole mask wearing thing, I don't wear makeup to go to work and sometimes when I work, sometimes they'll be like, why is this you don't have one makeup, but you just wear makeup for YouTube and I'm like... And I was like, yo, I just don't really feel comfortable having to wear a mask for eight hours in a day and my makeup is transferring and then when I take it off, sometimes I have to put it back on, take it off, put it back on. I feel like that's just room for bacteria to like do the most and I don't think that's good for my skin. Sometimes I'll wear makeup with a mask and it's not for that long time period. My father is some in the early he used to be like, Why did you have on too much makeup? And I'm like, you are clearly confusing eyeshadow with a caked foundation and caked highlight, caked contouring. You you're clearly mixing things up and you're supposed to know better. But he learned. He knows better. And he knows the proper thing now. When's your birthday? Like I would have said to you guys earlier on, January 23rd. Netflix series you're watching at the moment. Don't come for me when I tell you this, but I'm finally watching Greenleaf. I reached season four, I believe. Yeah, I'm watching the church people back now. And listen to me, right now, Charity need to slap in she face. Sick new. Bad client experiences. I remember I shared this in a live on e on Instagram. Um, I remember I had this client face and she took so long to arrive. I had a couple faces, you know, it was for a wedding. And she took really long to arrive and not about when she arrived, she's just like, <sighs> you know, like she out of breath, she's so busy, she's so tired, you know. And this girl was like breathing into my face, like, <sighs> like burp and breathe into my face i'm doing your makeup you know it's not like excuse me or you know give me a minute i think i need to burp or something like that she like full-on belched in my face and then breathed it into my face that was so gross i feel sick i just recomposed myself pretty quickly or as fast as I can and then continue doing her face. Well, they don't do that now. Please. It's okay. Tell me to stop or whoever is a makeup artist, tell them, tell them, excuse me a minute. We go excuse you. Yeah. Don't belch in my face and then breathe it into my face. <sighs> no man. It's nastiness. So we're down to the last one. Let's see. Favorite snack. I actually, hmm. My favorite snack right now, I love wafer. I'll put it up on the screen. There's this particular wafer. It's actually pretty cheap. And I find it tastes so good. To be honest, I'm not a snack person. I'm really, really not a snack person. I'm not a heavy snacker. There are a few particular things that I like. I'll probably put them up on the screen but what I've been craving lately is donuts 
thank you guys so much for watching this q a get to know me video i hope you guys liked it if there's anybody else that you know that has already subscribed to my channel has not seen this video and you think they would be interested in i don't know getting to know me <laughs> or they probably would have had it. i have no idea if you guys would like to y'all can share this video subscribe if you have not and until next time home girl home boy bye